program director, I'm tempted to make presentation in this congregation. Let us not reduce the funeral of Upali Samalaj to a political rhetoric session. Yeah. Yeah. A family has lost a daughter who was pursuing one thing and one thing only. Palisa lost her life in pursuit of education. Upalisa Malachi spent 12 years of her life. She was 17 years of age. She spent 12 years pursuing education, pursuing a national senior certificate that was going to liberate her and allow her to participate in the labor market as a South African. The question that we should preoccupy ourselves with as communities, as the government, it is to say, what is our responsibility as political structures as government? We are not requesting for a lot of things. We are saying, what are the needs of our people? That is politics, simple. The needs of our people are simple. They want to pursue education so that they can better their lives. The pressure that is exerted on principles to perform, but they are putting austerity measures in place. COSAS articulates and engages on a very robust campaign of saying, Minister Matome Shilwane, please deploy buses so that ultimately you are able to achieve your goal of getting AMA results. Comrade Matume Shiluan or MEC Matume Shiluan, our principals are confronted with challenges when they want to secure buses for learners to be bused to their respective places. There is an office. Yeah, Vivian. I took a discussion a few days ago with the former deputy chairperson of SAD to say, chairperson, we are having challenges of late coming in schools because our learners are residing very far, Boskirlek. But you are going to be told that it will take you three years for that process to be concluded. Palisa has lost a life through the hands of a merciless savage repressive. What does that um, talk to? Someone. Because if you look at the road or the place where Palisa was, it's possible that he was, she was dragged to where she was. And there is community around that area. The question is when she screams, where was the community? When she asked for help, where was the community? Let's move away, window 80, umdana wako, umdana wako. Umdana wako maibengu wam. Umdana wako maibengu wetu. Let us all protect our kids. Let us not see abandu anabetu. Yabona kekona la matoda as a shuman. Sorry to say that. Uh, uh, honorable member. Kwa la matoda as a shuman. Is shuman ige umdonge nanto umbi. And Arafu was in Dombi. Then Aganda, again, we will test to put a bag. Ukangelana and Abanduana Ababit. Lambda Ganangon, Dagapilana, and so So we cannot have such people with community to and keep quiet. And in the Kinseki and Jembasi lab, Niamas Lomdu and Zele. Bako and Abanda Bamazi or Lomdo and Zele, but in his outula. And you will know it when ANs are going down. So, if conscious yako my bring this person to the police. Uza ubanjo. Eyoba nigu bail nge sa after that. Sa nayo after that. But on the side of the city, as the speaker of the city, I will hold the executive accountable for some of the services that needs to be done in your communities. And I will be in Soshanguve and Mabopane this coming Monday to make sure that 
the grievances and the services that you are crying about are looked after. With those few words, thank you very much for allowing me to speak. But Mangiti Kuni Nipalegashe. Nipalegashe. You know, Nkoshok Buni Salanga is a challenge. Impia Masocha. Impia Makerela. Thank you very much. Abafundis Betu, the program directors, the leadership of the, Lord of the gender based violence. Yes, that is true. You know what is gender based violence? It means women are not safe, not only from the strangers, but from the husbands, from their boyfriends from their fathers, from their uncles, from every man in society, women are not safe. There is no scholar transport that is going to make women safe. There is no amount of policing that is going to make women safe. I will invite the minister in her input or in his input today to make this admission. There is no amount of boots he's going to put into the community that is going to make a girl child safe because the girl child is not safe even from their father. We must join the family in condemnation. Nobody believes women. The police don't believe women because they are themselves part of this sick community that has made gender-based violence a culture. I say accident. Our murder statistics general have increased since you took over. They have been on the rise from 36 per 100 people to 46 now since you took over in 2018. How about we admit that this thing of murder, this thing of gender-based violence is defeating you. It's defeating this system. And I want to propose it's because you have made a false diagnosis. You think the problem is morals. That no, all we need to do is to preach to the young men until they are 17, they are 20, they are 30, they will not rape. It's not true. Rape and abafundis. People who are custodians of morality. So what is the problem? There is one community in this country, General, which does not experience these statistics we are talking about. In that community, murder is not at 34 per 100 persons per population. In that community, in the Western Cape, it's at 60. It's the highest in the world, in the Western Cape alone. And who is killing? It's black men killing each other. It's black men in the main that are finishing each other. In prisons, men don't only rape women. If you think rape is a weapon that is used in relation to the opposite sex, no. In prison, men rape each other. In fact, in prison, it is so every day that it is possible that there is more rape of young men in prisons in South Africa that are highly overpopulated than we can count on the outside. Because one person, if they are raped three times a day, it's three rapes. So we're living in a very, very catastrophic era in South Africa. It's not a war. It's a culture. It's normal. It can't happen every day that a young man dies at the hands of another young man every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes, men die to each other. Men in our society kill each other for anything. Death. 
on a dit death. Wow, Shabila Cheriaka, death. You think you want to fix rape that is accompanied by murder? Think about how young men treat each other first. How they relate with each other in the everyday. That's the violence. Such violence, General, has defeated the system as we know it now. I can tell you for free, no amount of judges, it, there won't be a judge, how do you say that? Nobody believes these young women. The police don't believe them. We don't believe them. We think they're high on hormones. We think all of them want sex. In fact, we talk about them the way they dress, the way they walk. We think all of them must just be given the sex even against their will. Nobody believes them. That is not a problem that is going to be solved by moralizing and moralizing and moralizing. If that is the case, white people believe in the same God we're going to hear about just now. But there is no such cases in the white community. Why? South Africa. Why is the murder rate in the white community less? Why is gender-based brutality in the white community less? Including in the Indian community, particularly the sections that constitute the higher middle class. Our problem, our problem has been described by one gentleman here is that black people have been neglected. The economic struggle, the access to resources, if but ba mo so shanguve, ba ne ba ina lichelete, ma bonisa nge ba mama mela. If but ba mo so shanguve, ba ne ba ina lichelete, the case it abo na nge ba wosa release we ba who are caught in the very act of doing criminality that they because they would put resources into their fight. Sibulawa ogutu supegi le. Asnama, the same system that cannot clean water in Haman's Kral. The same system that cannot give us high mast lights so that the kids can walk in the light in winter when they're from extra classes. That system that is failing, it's failing because siya supega. So makua habadi boni di lochi taurbane chelet. In their communities, general, they've got their own policing forums. Go look at the number of guns that they have. In their own, how zama di saba punza pitori, who got up, but wow chana li burema. Yes, <laughs> But the crux of the matter is that the life is a war at the present moment. Uh, 
That's not what you're expecting from me. In the the crux of the matter, we to at the level of the that's what you expect from us. Yes, we are human beings. Yes, we can cry. But we must have to cry. If we are going to be in the world, we are going to be in the world. 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 We are going to Upalisa was killed by a man. Maybe I'm correct in what saying. The South African prisons at the present moment are 44% overpopulated. 44% overpopulated. That happens after we've had two slots of a parole. 2014 we had a parole where 14,000 of them were released. COVID years we had another parole where 19,000 were released but we still have 44 percent overpopulation as we speak. 7,000 of those that are doing life sentence for raping and killing women. But Ulo, with a population in yes, jail, almost 21,000 people there are doing life sentence. Which means the South Africa itself is becoming a prison because where will you put the next? The issue is about us. Umuntu wesatu ukulmega wakulmaga the time has come that we stop talking to South Africans. We must talk to men. In Daba, in Namadod. In Daba, in Namadod. Angaz, go to Bani, Obulel Palis, and was the good one with Indod. No more Mudus Lisa, no more fun, and no more fun than I got on fun, Obulel Palis. They behave like this, not all the time. They behave like this, not all the time. At least some fundi is what I love fundi. Wonka makata ko real life akotage, including politicians. Some push bona je skotage. Abe fundi is bakotage. Oti isha bakotage. Inden the school is kotage. O mawazu bakotage. O baba bazu bakotage. Some kas kotage. Ile on dog of Fanelesi Lungis, Gutina, Wonkumu to my Sugala, Agara of Perayena, Uguia Gavanaban, Ukulumena, where as an individual would be called Taralena figure up in me. You see this Asia Mapois and Zobuanj years ago. I call our poets. It tell them, oh, Mama, you know, mothers don't trust their daughters. My feet are umbus who to be whoopy, my to be what I issue to Namang. 
unfortunately, sengwe ndoja ndoja kaze ndala. So, but kange mbonu mawai kuti kuze nkuze na mta upumge ofunda hini wenu wakolo uguti upumge ofunda wenu sukunga hile hini la usugu ye kona mosichelu kutu ye kona wanu wa mkolo hena gine pati nje angkulisua nga umaba nga kulisua waba ee si si komo nete oto no chuliasi uta kulisua oko oko nga kulisua ubaba no oko oko my mother died when i was nine months old and my mother died at twenty yinye inte ya ngsiza uguti ubaba spend a lot of time with me which is a problem at the present moment that fathers don't spend time with sons that's one major major problem no guti abana abo o baba o baba bele zinga ne baya kala vanda busy making other kids by court asabe zenzi and we are not going to have normal society if fathers are not taking responsibility of sons my father told me one thing which when things are tough and you can't handle it turn around even if you don't have to look back again and walk away and there are no fathers who's telling sons to do so today because fathers themselves are busy their gallivanting that's why it is important to pass a long time Uman nga zon li nga nezi nga ba nga nga politisye nga zon Uboshwa, uboshwa ka kulu uguti nga Li tatu salari yako isi wenga nene nga uma wenga nga uguti yon li nga Nga ba zi nga zale zi nga nga zi nga nga zi nga 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 Because they've been ignored and shiwa o baba basu Ay kalik zon kupa kukala go yise to ignore them Bangaz uguti ba nga matote ana Bawa shiye bese Ekula ngapande kukwa nisbonezi. 